Hi, I'm Beth Rahman with Rahman Home Sales brokered by eXp Realty. I wanted to answer a question for you today, which I get asked a little bit. It's about what is mutual acceptance, because that's something that the brokers will use a lot, and sometimes it's thrown into an email to the buyer or the seller, and they're not quite sure what mutual acceptance or mutual agreement is. It's pretty simple, really. It's at the point where, um, the two parties, buyers and sellers, finally agree to all the terms on the purchase and sale agreement. So you have the buyer obviously is submitting an offer over to the seller for the purchase of their home. If that seller just accepts everything the way it's written, they sign off on it, then that is mutual acceptance. If that same seller decides that they're gonna change the purchase price or change the closing date, then that's called a counter offer. It goes back to the buyer. And then if the buyer just accepts that and signs off initially in the changes, then that's when mutual acceptance starts. The importance to this, not as much for the buyer or seller themselves, but more for the brokers is about keeping a good grasp on the timelines because mutual agreement or mutual acceptance is what determines all the timelines in the rest of the transaction. And that comes into future videos about contingencies and basically protecting your interest and not losing your earnest money. So it's important because mutual agreement starts those timelines and if you're off by even a day on what that timeline actually is, it could have an effect on you as the buyer or the seller. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Beth with Ramen Home Sales.